Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we'll be reviewing the LibTech Stump Ape. Not the Skunk Ape, the Stump Ape. It's Midget Brother. This board is available in 157 and 162. They are both wide sizes. This board features Mervin's C2X camber profile, which is a shortened reverse camber between the feet and a lengthened camber section under the front and back foot. This gives it pop and snap, but the play of reverse camber between the feet. I rode this board at Arapahoe Basin after a couple inches of hot pow had fallen over the night. It was sunny bluebird skies, little bit cooler temps for that time of the year, perfect corduroy, and then one to three inches of snow, maybe a little bit more if it was windblown. And I rode this board with my K2 Thraxxus boots and my K2 Indy bindings. Clearly, this is a directional free ride board. What that means is you have a directional free ride flex. Softer nose, progressively stiffening up to the tail with a moderate amount of torsional flex. Now, this board isn't overly stiff. It's more like a middle of the road free ride flex, maybe like just a hair below middle of the road free ride flex, but it is super stable. And all that stability is from the width of this thing. It is so wide, you don't have to worry about plowing through anything. It's not dead by any means, but it's not lively. It's good at dissipating chatter or vibrations or anything. The only time you're gonna probably feel anything is if you plow into a frozen mogul field or some death cookies at full speed. There is snap in this board. It's not overly snappy, but there's enough to keep you happy or satiated. You do pop off the back foot outside that rear camber zone. That's where the flex point is that activates and snaps from. It does take more effort to load it up, but that's because it's a super wide board and I have a size 10 foot. I assume if you have a size 14, you're probably not going to have this issue. The sweet spot is way out at the end of those camber zones. You want to make sure you have all your weight out over it and you're really pressing into it. When you do, you will feel it lock in and it will lock in well. There is some rebounded fight to this board, so be aware of it, but it's not as aggressive as other boards that I've been on. So having a size 10 boot, how does this board get on edge? Actually not bad, it's fairly nimble. I mean, if I had a bigger foot, it would definitely be quicker, but for its width and my boot size, it worked out fairly well. This board can get on edge and hold it well and just drive. You can really load up that rear camber zone and push off the tail and get it to slingshot you out of turn. Short, tight, quick ones, long, hard, drawn out ones, it's got you covered. The only thing that I really couldn't do with it was lay deep, hard Euro carves, but I'm pretty sure that has to do with the width of it overall and the size of my boot and my body size. If I was a Sasquatch of a human, sure, probably could do it, but I'm not. I'm pretty much just a generic average white guy, and you can quote me on that. So who's this board for? The big-footed Sasquatch that wants a volume-shifted deck. Someone that doesn't want to ride a 1.7. Here you go. You got a size 14 foot? This is it. Right there. There's not a doubt in my mind if I had a size 11 boot or bigger, this board would have ridden a lot different for me. But hey, I went out and rode it. It didn't suck by any means. Don't think that it sucked just because I had a size 10. I know some people with smaller feet will probably bag on this board when they have to review it. Looking at you, James, from the good ride because you're a fucking tool. But hey, it gets the job done, it gets on edge, it has power and snap. It's solid for a medium level volume shifted board for you big guys out there. Comparable boards, the Marhar Sasquatch, the Rosinal Sashimi, the Rome Powder Division. This has been my review of the LibTech Stump Ape. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the content we've got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really want to support us and you really want to see us grow what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I can tell you more here, but I've got a video over there that explains it a lot better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.